super early because today's vlog is going to be yet another what I eat in a day, high protein, high fiber meals, 18 months after weight loss surgery, and how I'm still trying to lose a bit of weight as I move into maintenance. And it's also going to be a high active, high activity type of day because I'm going to be going on yet another hike, which is why I'm up so early because we're going to Mount Rainier. A friend of mine and I are going to Mount Rainier. It's two hours away from my house. We're trying to get there by eight. So I gotta get up early. Back in my hiking hydration book bag right now. I love this book bag. I got it off of Amazon. Comes with a water pack. Good amount of size to have all of my things. And some essentials I pack is just some tissue, wet wipes, face wipes, hand sanitizer, some safety devices. And my shiwi when I have to pee on the go. But thankfully, where we're going from Mount Rainier, they have bathrooms at the beginning of the um, trail. I don't know about along the trail, but I can pretty much hold it if there's a bathroom before and after. It's supposed to rain at the mountain today. I'm not sure how hard because in Washington, it says it's rain, but it's mostly drizzle. But I am packing some spare clothes because we are going to be out there for a few hours and I don't want to drive home and wet clothes i'm gonna wear this long sleeve and i'm wearing leggings as well but i'm packing a short sleeve just in case by chance it's gonna get warm but i don't think it is and then a hat oh let me show y'all the new shoes that i got for this hike so i got these new hiking shoes sent over to me from fitville thank you so much fitville for sending me these new hiking boots they are their low top hiking shoes, which I have been wanting more of like a sneaker type of hiking shoe for more of like local walks and hikes and stuff like that. I have boots, but I like these. So these are what they look like. Super cute. These shoes are supposed to be zero break in time, which if y'all know me, y'all know I don't break in no shoes, whether it's my hiking boots, my running shoes. And I'm on, we're doing miles and we're going to see what it's giving. So it's nice to know that there's zero break in time. Let's actually see if that is true. These shoes are also supposed to be wide foot friendly, which I don't have wide feet. When I was bigger, I definitely did have a bigger foot, but now that I have lost 116 pounds, I don't suffer from that. But what I do appreciate about shoes now is the fact that the toes are wider and that's like the thing with Fitville. It's supposed to be a freer toes, give you room for your toes. My running shoes, they're wide in the toe and I love that. It's so much more comfortable. So I'm glad that that's a thing for these hiking boots. They definitely already feel super comfy. Definitely has the wide toe effect which i love and so far so good the real test will come after i do this hike these are what they look like this is what they're given what do y'all think let me know in the comments below Ooh, there's definitely a lot of support at the heels like i can feel like a bit of a bounce i love that Fitville gave my viewers a special 28% off discount code using code JS28 on selected shoes. It's going to be linked in the description below. So check out the shoes that they have listed. These are included in it. And yeah, thank you so much Fitville for sending me over these hiking shoes. So for breakfast, I'm just making me a turkey, egg and cheese sandwich. This is with the keto muffin i love these muffins they're only 60 calories and they're packed with a ton of protein and fiber it has 20 grams of fiber and 8 grams of protein like i said turkey bacon a thin slice of cheese this is the cheese that i like to buy and um an egg i'm not going to eat it now i'm going to be taking it with me i'll probably eat it when i get closer to the mountain because i'm not really that hungry i also did pack a bowl of assorted berries so i will snack on this on the way up and along with having an alani energy drink because i've been up since 3 30 this morning i don't know what's wrong with me i could not go back to sleep and now i'm starting to feel it but um the day has started so some additional snacks i'm taking with me is this chia energy gel i love this for running i like to pack this for hiking especially if it's going to be a long hike as well it's like a quick boost of energy I actually might grab another one because i think we're going on a six mile hike 
I have a protein shake, of course, a protein bar, and then just some cashews. I'm also packing an apple and a pear. Now, of course, once my hike is over, I will let y'all know what I actually ended up eating, but I like to be prepared with a ton of snacks. And then for lunch, I've just made this very basic turkey wrap with a low carb wrap. There's two servings of turkey breasts, light mayonnaise, spicy mustard, slice of thin cheese. That's it. I'm also going to have it with some protein chips. I'm also bringing this electrolyte water. I really love this water from Propel. And of course, I have a pickle. But I'm going to get ready to head out. I also have for my car my electrolyte water as well while I'm going to and from. I can get nice and rehydrated. But um, yeah, I need to speed this up. Before I run out the door, I cannot forget to take my vitamins, my bariatric vitamins from Berry Melts. I'm taking the calcium. I'll take the rest of them once I get home because I still take them two hours apart from each other. But we gotta go, so let's go. So I made a quick stop at Walmart because I needed to get an actual rain jacket. I had this like rain pouch poncho kind of thing that I've had for years. I don't even know how big it is. I don't know what it looks like but it's cold. I need an actual jacket. I know I'm wearing long sleeves, but after bariatric surgery, I am always cold and cold and rain, not for a good day. So I actually picked this jacket up. It's real cute, real cute. And it actually matches my new boots and it has a hood with it too. It looks like it's um, fleece lined and yeah, all that good stuff. So I'm glad I went ahead and picked this up. I'm about to go ahead and eat my sandwich because I'm hungry now since I've been up since 3.30. These berries are just not doing it and this Alani New energy drink, the best energy drink I've ever had. This is the orange kiss flavor and it literally tastes like the orange sun kiss. Like the soda literally tastes like it. It doesn't have that energy drink tastes like all energy drinks do I'm very surprised and shocked by this so pick it up try it if you haven't already but I'm gonna continue on the road I have about an hour and a half left I'm about to listen to some YouTube on my way At the I'll light. check out when I'm there Turn right. I just entered the park and it's still about another 30 minutes to get to the paradise trails going up the actual mountain i just realized so for a lot of national parks um you need to have like one of these passes like state park passes and mine's actually expired last month um, mine was expired i actually went ahead and got a new pass for this year and it's good for a year so it expires August of 2025. And if you're military, all you have to do is show your military ID and it's free. I'm not sure how much it cost any other time, but I just know it's free for me. <laughs> and that's all that matters to me. So I just got here and I just called Dakota and she just got here. So perfect timing. We both have to use the bathroom. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on my hiking shoes and get ready and go. So I will see y'all on the trail it is so foggy we're not gonna be able to see anything which sucks because this trail has like the most beautiful sights the most beautiful views it's literally a thick I mean y'all could probably see it behind me through the window like it is a thick cloud of just nothing but the good thing is it stopped raining I mean I'm still gonna throw my jacket into my book bag but um and i'm gonna keep on my fleece because my car is saying it's 43 degrees outside thankfully i also packed a, a hat um but i knew i was gonna forget something and i forgot my walking poles um even if i wasn't gonna use it i still like to just bring it with me just in case i decide oh last minute i'm gonna use my poles um so this is going to be a leg day for me because I don't even know which trail we're going to do. There's quite a few up here in, at Paradise. Um, but we'll see, because the last time we hiked Paradise, it was an incline, baby. That was a year ago. Um, so, hey, it is what it is now. 
I will catch y'all on the trail. And I am complete with the hike. It was a little over six miles. I am so glad I was smart enough to pack some extra clothes because as you can see, I am already changed. Everything was wet from being misted on for six, for six miles. Um, let me look at the stats. Let me see if my watch has grabbed the stats yet of that hike it was 6.6 .6 miles in total the hike was four hours and 13 minutes the a total ascent was 1850 feet it says i burned off 1100 calories um yeah it was a good hike we did a lot of stopping um just to like try to enjoy whatever scenery we could as y'all can see throughout the hike it was nothing but rain and nothing but fog which is why i really didn't pull out the camera like that because one i didn't want it to get messed up two it was really nothing to see um but there was like some flowers we saw some waterfalls we saw and we took that in um on the way up there was definitely an incline definitely an incline but on the way down it was it was fine and then it was a slight incline in the last bit of it and yeah it was a good it was a really good hike even with the rain even with no views it was a really good hike we do plan on coming back up here if the weather permits in september before it snows hopefully it's not snowing at the mountain and up there at the top of the mountain by then um and hopefully the weather is still good so we can you know enjoy the sights but um all in all it was a good hike now every time I do one of these day in a live eat in a day vlogs I always have a topic to discuss with you all and as I was on the mountain I kept seeing like older couples doing the same trail that I'm doing the same hike that I was doing and it really made me be grateful for the fact that I'm able to move my body right now the way that I'm able to move it and how I want to continue to be able to do that in my older age and be out here getting it like these old people. Um, you know, I work in healthcare and I see so many old people who aren't able to move their bodies for whatever, whatever reasons. Um, but I can say a lot of it has to do with their internal health and their weight as well that they become immobile and I just don't want that for my life I've taken care of too many older people to know that it's a thing and so I really want on this phase of my journey and this phase of my journey and this phase of my life I want to be able to move my body and continue to move my body well into my old age well into my 60s and 70s and 80s like I want to stay mobile and it makes me think about a lot of the comments that I get from sharing my weight loss journey, my fitness journey, my wellness journey on TikTok and Instagram. And if you're not following me over there, go ahead and make sure you're following me. But mostly on Instagram, I don't get too many negative comments on TikTok or YouTube shorts or just my regular YouTube videos. It's Instagram. Instagram is a different beast and people are mean on Instagram. Um, and if y'all saw my last hike vlog, then y'all would see I talked about this there. But um, I just get a lot of comments on my body, on my body. I don't know why people feel so like they have the audacity to talk about my body, my loose skin, my arms, my stomach, like whatever the case may be. But people get really brave on the internet thinking that they can't be found and they can't be touched 
you can. But um, but yeah, like I get a lot of comments about my loose skin and I need a tummy tug and da 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 da, whatever the case may be. And I'm like, that's not my priority. I was not able to move my body the way I'm able to move it in the last 13 years. In 2022, my health was screaming at me, screaming. So do you think that I care about the aftermath of being obese for 13 years for being almost 300 pounds? Like, no matter how much weight training and running I do, whatever is left over is whatever that's left over. And like, there's plastic surgery for a reason. But at this current moment, I'm not gonna go from hating my body when I was fat to hating my body now that I have loose skin. Like, no, I've done the mental work to be grateful for the body that I have and no, I'm not delusional. Yes, there's things that I want to fix. Yes, I have bad, bad body image days, but I will take all of that. If I'm never able to afford plastic surgery, I will take my current body over my plus size body and how I felt in my body and how like, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it at that. Like the way that I wasn't able to move my body, how I was delusional and thinking that I was way more fit just because I was still working out. Like, no, I was not healthy, I was not fit. I know now <laughs> that I wasn't and so, I will take whatever is the outer appearance, knowing that my internal health is better and knowing that I have the stamina, the endurance, the strength that I have now. Like I will, I'll take the comments and I'll take whatever's left over because I'm happy, I'm healthy and I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it and people will always have stuff to say. Even when I get plastic surgery, they will continue to have stuff to say and I, I don't care. I can't invest time in random people on the internet, so whatever. Now that my hike is done, let me tell you about those shoes that I got from Fitville. So yes, I did not have to break those shoes and those shoes were comfortable the entire hike. I will, however, say y'all saw the way the shoes look. There is no ankle support. I would be mindful of that if you are going on a hike that has some rocks or has some um, incline. Like I had both of that on that trail. So I really had to be mindful of just where I stepped because I did not have the ankle support. But that's fine because that's that's the shoe. It's it is what it is. Um, but besides that, the shoe was comfortable. Again, it was raining the entire time. I was walking in some um, little, um, not ponds, but like streams. And my feet stayed dried. My feet stayed warm because it definitely was cold. I'm really happy that I picked those shoes from Feetville. So make sure you check out the link in the description below. And remember, you can get 20% off using my code JS28. You can find those shoes within that link and some other shoes and flip flops and then a couple of other accessories. And yeah, thank you so much, Feetville, for sending me over those hiking shoes. I'm back home and I'm about to take my multivitamin without iron again from Berry Melt. Let me show y'all what I didn't end up eating. I pretty much did not have any of the snacks, not the apple, the nuts, the protein chips, the protein bar. I didn't need the um, energy gel because I was doing just fine and I didn't have the protein shake. I did, however, eat the pear and I ate majority of the berries. I'm probably going to finish it. But yeah, that's it. I plugged in all of my meals. I used my fitness pal to keep track of my food and I am like... I only had 920 calories. I still need 90 grams of protein and it's 529. It's 529. I don't think that's happening today, but we'll see. I am, however, about to snack on this steak that I made yesterday, so that should help. And then I'm cooking some salmon now, but I'm not gonna force myself to eat. Like, this is just a low eating day for me. I made a video talking about low and high restriction after weight loss surgery. I'll link it in the cards above because this is exactly what I mean about not wanting to eat even though I did a lot of activity. I'm just still not hungry. And honestly, like I talked about in that video, when my hunger is low, also my water is low. So half of the hike was inclined and that's when I was sipping on my water. 
But once we hit the decline, because it was so cold and because it was raining, I was not thirsty. Drinking more water was going to make me colder. And so, and I wasn't like, my heart rate wasn't like beating real crazy. So there was really no need for me to keep sipping. So yeah, I've been doing poorly with my water today. I probably had about half of this. I will make sure I finish this Stanley. However, I had about three fourths of the um, electrolyte propel water and yeah i don't even want to open up my um book bag to see how much water is left because look majority of the water is left this it started off all the way full i've made it maybe three-fourths of the way it says there's it's a little less than um 1.5 liters and it goes up to two so i had about half a liter yeah it is what it is <laughs> time for dinner and this is all i'm having because i'm feeling very lazy and i just really don't feel like making anything with it this is a realistic day in my life after weight loss surgery and what i eat in a day and sometimes it literally just looks like this i am however going to have my last set of vitamins and i'm going to focus on water and i may drink a protein shake just to top off my protein for the day that is going to be it before i go to bed the last thing i'm gonna do is have a little dessert and again have my protein shake these are the prime bites if you're on tiktok then you've probably seen them they, they've gone viral they're like protein desserts um, 19 total carbs, two fiber, 10 sugar alcohol. So it makes it seven net carbs and has 19 grams of protein, nine grams of fat. So 220 for this little brownie. This is the glazed cinnamon roll. This is the first time I'm trying it. I have the box, the assorted box right here, and I haven't tried any of them just yet, but I'm trying this because <clears throat> my sweet tooth has been sweet toothed tonight and we have crumble cookie in the house and i don't want to i don't want to dig into it it smells really good it smells really good but it smells like a protein snack like if you had any of um legendary's pop tarts or they're like pastry rolls that's what this smells like i'm gonna try it cold and then i'm gonna warm it up Not much taste go ahead and try it warm i did warm it up for 30 seconds the glaze didn't like melt or anything but it's definitely more soft no and now i'm over it i'm not going to even finish this i'm just going to drink my protein shake and that's it so that's gonna be it you guys for today's video thank you so much for watching i will see y'all in the next one make sure you like comment share and subscribe and follow me on instagram and tiktok same username and i'll catch y'all later bye